The project is about finding new ways in developing international connections and cooperations in higher education. We want to break through traditional understandings of internationalization which are very much linked to physical mobility, physical notions of international differences and we want to see how the use of ICT, of digital learning can stimulate new ways of international cooperation. The collaboration between Oslo and, and Iowa opens up towards a better understanding of how we can use digital technology also for internationalization. That means that our experiences, what works, what doesn't work when it comes to using digital technology for stimulating collaboration in, like in our case, seven hour time differences, that kind of experience could be extremely useful for universities around the world. The benefit for the larger U.S. context is our higher education and student affairs programs in the U.S. tend to have a domestic focus and that's really limiting considering the extent to which students and scholars are mobile and have a desire to seek new ideas and new strategies for overcoming the enduring higher education problems. And so by bringing in international perspectives formally into our curriculum, which is one piece that this project has accomplished, but to also build upon that formal aspect and provide an opportunity structure for students to have professional networks internationally, to be able to find collaborators that they can write with, that they can engage in research with, and then to just have the social interactions and the cultural competence to navigate new borders and new environments. They're, we're sending them off into the world to be better advocates for what it looks like to be an engaged and involved citizen. Students have used various digital technologies in their joint collaborative educational activities. They have worked in small breakout groups, they've done exams together, they've written papers together, and some of these papers have even been presented at academic conferences. I think that what worked well in the joint lectures was the fact that we had professors from two different contexts and also students from a wide different backgrounds coming together and asking a different variety of questions and um, just really broaden the context of the class. I think what went really well in the joint lectures is the fact that the technology wasn't interrupted. Like once we got things going on, we went through the whole lectures without interruptions, which was really impressive. I had a very good cooperation with my partner from Iowa and we use Facebook, we use Zoom and every time we had a problem with one of the technologies, it was easier to, to switch participation looks different compared to when we started in the sense that we got more experience. So the teachers involved have found out uh, throughout our three years, four years of collaboration to quite a good extent what works and what doesn't work. So we stimulate student collaboration in a way that we know uh, works. So from that sense I think we're much more focused at the moment in the organization of the collaborative work than we were at the beginning. The most interesting thing that I'll take away from this course is a friend. I found a friend from Iowa and that's very good. I didn't have to travel. It was just like because of this program that I found a friend. So that is one thing that I'll take away uh, on top of the content that we learned. Mm -hmm.